it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below okay scorpio what's going on what's going on overall energy we have the ace of swords in reverse lack of communication lack of clarity there is no clarity here miscommunication misinformation someone's just keeping the truth from being revealed or there is just a lack of breakthrough here okay you just guys are just not reaching that point of breakthrough okay i feel a lot of confusion here only because there's a lack of communication here in the past year with the two of cups in reverse here you could have had a breakup a separation a divorce a fallout between two uh, people uh, not seeing eye to eye with someone Coming into the current situation, we have the world here. And what is crossing the world here is the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So yes, there is a completion of a cycle. You have ended a cycle with someone successfully and you've reached a milestone with this person. But what's crossing this is the Nine of Cups in reverse. But there's something that is, and this probably, this is what is draining you out emotionally, okay? It could be draining you out emotionally or the person you're dealing with. But something has ended here. Something's come full circle here. And it's just not making you happy at all, okay? It's this ending out here, this closing of this chapter that is draining you out, okay? It's just like almost like you just never wanted this to come to an end. But however, the world does not always mean only endings. The world means endings and new beginnings, okay? So, um... I feel that yes, there is a, cl a chapter that you have closed, but when one chapter closes, right, a new chapter begin begins, all right? And uh, for right now, it's something that you're almost, it was almost like your happiness. This, this, this situation, this connection, this relationship meant the world to you. But the two of cups here, you, you, you were dealing with a soulmate um, and it hurts. Yes, it hurts. On your mind, what's on your mind with the Knight of Swords in reverse, there's a lot you want to say. And probably it could be that you could have been someone who usually has a habit of jumping in, you know, into a situation, jumping into a conclusion, jumping into an opportunity. opportunity. But this time on your mind here, I think either you're holding back and that's why there are missed opportunities or then there's this person who's holding back and just letting opportunities pass by. Could be because they don't have enough information to come in towards you or because they're just not ready to jump in right now okay this is someone who probably is waiting for the right time to come all right the reason for the reading is the hangman here okay either you're keeping someone on hold someone's keeping you on hold okay but there's someone here the good part here is that there's someone here who's trying to see things from a different perspective of you okay someone's trying to see things from your point of view or you're trying to see things from another person's point of view okay the hangman is a very spiritual meditative energy which is a good thing okay it's not like the hermit where you're just shutting down completely okay so yeah i don't see a lot of blocking blocking here but i see more like you know what i need time to think about this okay i need time before i make the next move okay that's why i feel that probably there's some more time left before you start your new cycle with the same person okay I don't know if there is a new person coming in or not, but for right now, I still see there is more energy of the old person trying to come in, okay? But it's just that there's a lot of holding back. Again, we are still repeating the readings from last month, okay? A lot of holding back, lack of communication as usual. And, uh, okay, so I feel that could there could be someone who's taking their own sweet time because... Maybe this person has a habit of, you know, maybe every time this person comes in, you guys are just like clashing and there's like a conflict. And maybe this person this time wants to give it some time, okay? Because they're not wanting to rush in um, into a conflict, okay? Maybe they want to avoid it this time, okay? And that's why coming into the near future with the tavern in reverse here, I feel that someone here, either something crashed, we have the tower moment already and things have already crashed. We already see a breakup in the two of cups in reverse here. So there could have been a breakup that just happened all of a sudden, okay, out of the blue, you were not expecting it and there was a huge blow up and now in the near future, this person wants to rebuild from scratch with you, okay? That's why probably all this waiting energy, okay? That's why there's some time before you start this new cycle with this person, okay? 
uh, or this is someone who is probably trying to avoid a disaster and that's why they're taking their own time before they come in okay because they feel if they come in and things they just don't want things to land up the same way that it that it was before okay so this person i'm getting this person is being very very cautious this time okay very cautious this time with the moon in reverse here what you're doing is i feel that you're uh, releasing this person okay the moon yes it is a lot of releasing of stress fear anxiety but yes with the moon here also i feel that you're releasing this person you're releasing anything uh, that was hidden within you okay the moon is a lot of fear of the unknown okay so i feel that if you could have been in this in for the longest time you could have been very very afraid of what could have happened if you don't let this person go okay it's like you know you kept this fear within you and it and it became stress anxiety and it was overpowering you for a very long time but with the moon in reverse i feel you're releasing this person releasing the stress and the releasing the fear of the unknown okay releasing the fear of what can happen after this okay so you're not scared anymore okay you're not scared anymore uh what they're doing with the knight of cups here this is someone here who's coming in okay they're finally coming in with this emotional offer they're coming in to finally express their emotions they're coming in to express how they feel okay they're coming in to give you a love offer they're coming in to sweep you off your feet okay this could be someone who was not very vulnerable in the beginning here and um uh this person could be someone you know who was just um keeping a lot of truth from being revealed okay that's why we have the ace of swords in reverse here as the overall energy okay that someone was holding back a lot of truth again with the knight of swords in reverse here on your mind okay someone was holding back a lot someone just was keeping the truth from coming out in the open okay and that's why there is a lack of breakthrough here but finally this person with the knight of cups here this person is coming in to express their love to you okay the only problem out here is that that's a knight okay knights come in and go okay so this person yes granted this person is coming in to sweep you off your feet but then it's a knight here okay so they'll come they could express what they feel they could have their cup of emotions filled and then they could leave okay so that's all you need to be careful about in your emotions with the 6 of wands in reverse here i feel that you feel something is a failure okay something is there was a situation which has led to a disappointment again with the 6 of wands in reverse here i think you're being very very egoistic and i trying to come in and get the attention you need and by feeding your ego okay you want to feed your ego by getting the attention you need either this is this person who's doing this but in your emotions i feel that either you're not getting the attention that you want or this is just where you feel that something just was uh, not a success okay there was a lack of success in a situation here and that's why in the likely outcome with the ace of cups in reverse here i feel you're shut down emotionally scorpio i don't think you're going to uh, buy this person's i mean more like not buy but it's like when this person comes in with this offer when they come in and they finally express their views to you express their emotions to you i don't think you're going to be very open to this person because there's a lot of disappointment around this situation okay maybe there was once a time when you saw a lot of potential in this relationship but with the ace of cups in reverse here i feel a lot of depression i feel a lot of uh I feel around like if it didn't work out before why would it work out now okay but the ace of cups in reverse is definitely someone who's just emotionally shut down completely okay it's like unrequited love you're very upset you're very upset with this person okay maybe it could be because what i'm seeing in the situation here is that there's a lot of holding back okay so this person could have taken like forever to come towards you or they are taking forever to come towards you okay look maybe on their side they're just doing this because they're very very cautious okay and that's just how they are they take forever to open up emotionally this person could be someone who thinks very very logically and you're the one who thinks very um emotionally being a water sign okay you could be dealing with an air sign of course libra gemini it doesn't have to be but this is someone extra cautious okay because with the tower in reverse i'm assuming this is someone who wants to avoid a disaster okay so maybe they're just going to take their own sweet time to come in and um you could be dealing with a liar cheater but i'm not getting so much of a liar and cheater here okay i'm just getting the ace of swords in reverse here and getting you could be sharing a very contradictory belief system okay your belief systems are completely different if one wants something then the other wants com- something completely opposite okay and that's the clash that's going on and that could be one of the reasons okay maybe if you want a commitment this person is ca- absolutely non committal okay if you want something then they want something completely opposite okay so i'm 
seeing a lot of clash of um, belief systems also, okay? That could be one of the reasons why there was a fallout, all right, all right? But yeah, when this person comes in, I don't know if you're going to you're going to be open to this person. You're definitely not offering your emotions to this person when this person comes in. Because with the moon in reverse here, you, you you probably were very, very scared about releasing this person, okay? Like, no, I don't know. I cannot release this person. What will I do without this person? Or what will I do without her? What if I, what will I do if this person leaves me? How am I going to live life, etc., etc.? Could have been, this fear could have been very deeply embedded in your heart. But I think you're releasing this person. I don't see so much of uh, blocking your intuition. I feel you're releasing. Okay? You're freeing yourself from this stress and anxiety. And all this is happening because someone's taking forever. Okay? Someone's put you on hold. They put you in a limbo. And you just don't know what to do. You can't move forward. You can't go backward. And that's what's going on. All right, Scorpio, uh, leave your comments below. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. Please like, share, follow, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.